I went at first at uh, Surfline Hawaii, and they wanted me to come out with my own label, not a double label thing. So this started to pick up even more for me because of the sting. The sting was just taking off. So I, I spent a couple years with them, and uh, I think from that point on, I moved to my own. I saw what was gonna was was coming. I saw what kind of surf was coming. And I never looked back to what was happening behind because I was looking forward at these four or five guys that was just far, but the boards that they had wasn't the vehicle for them. And I was lucky to make boards for these guys. And by doing this, they opened up a whole new thing of surfing, okay? And not only that, in surfboard design. Okay, how, how this thing came about was like, uh, what's the fastest boat on water? The Hydrofall boat. So I went down and talked to about 12 people who I guess owns the boat, you know? What's the whole concept of, of that? So I go back to the shop, I draw an outline of just a regular board and I accidentally dropped the template down and it fell inside. <laughs> fell inside. So my, my trusted measurement, my finger and thumb, I went one, two, three. I scratched the foam. I scratched along the template. I moved the template. Hide your foil. Hide your foil. You, you look at the board. It's not a natural looking board. But the qualities and how the board was built was made for the new surfing that was coming. So here I am, I, I'm developing a board that everybody say, oh, it only works in Hawaii. <sighs> that wasn't true until people actually got on it and they got stung by it. They got stung by it. It took off. As for the industry getting involved in it, it took them almost like two years to catch on the thing because there's a cover shot right there. When that came out, it went viral. And the whole industry had to make these boards. Ben coached me a lot, you know, taught me a lot uh, going through the years. He was a big part of like, right before I turned pro, he was coaching me a lot and uh, it really helped me, you know, get on tour basically to start this whole journey I'm on. He is a legend, he's an insane surfer, insane shaper, he's been around all the legends, shaped for all the legends. He was a guy knowing where the, you know, where the modern shapes are going to go and what was possible and kind of pushing the limits, surfing and shaping. Surfing was changing. Every five years, surfing was changing. And again, I never had time to look back what the other guys was doing. I just kept looking for it. But I, I, I guess I, I really appreciate the surface that put me and my de designs. Who am I? These guys was developed techniques of actually surfing the hard, heavy waves instead of riding it. You know, between all those guys, you know, the five guys, of course, Dane being the powerhouse, okay, he he made the thing look at had authority. With buttons, you know, every board, he made the board look good because of how he surfed, you know. He'd surf off the wall, back doors, where you kind of, you know, guys were kind of careful how they were surfing. These guys were just hitting it, slamming it, you know? There was no book of what he's doing. He was innovating moves. And doing that, he, he complimented, complimented on my boys. I knew inside where MR was going because of how he was performing on this board. And there were single fins at that time. He had an idea that he wanted to try, the one with the lower wing. So by trying that, he kind of was sort of leaning towards what he wanted to try. Do the wing dovetail board. His skills got into shaping boards. And of course, from that point on, I missed it by one year. His first world title was on his own board. <laughs> A twin wing. Dovetail. <laughs>
I feel like everybody else, okay? I don't feel special, okay? I'm just everyday guy, everyday surfer and all that. And that's how I've been all my life, okay? But when you get honored for something which, the only thing I get really honored for is on a, I make a board for a guy, he's stoked, you know? That's my honor right there, you know?